So if you haven't been living under a rock, then you would know a recent debate has taken the internet by storm. I am firmly of the belief that 100 people could easily be easy yeah. fight. Okay. Oh, that gorilla smacking everybody is over with. Out of 100 fights, 100 humans, one gorilla, I think that the gorilla wins 85% of the time. 100 unarmed humans versus one silverback gorilla. And without further ado, let's find out who would actually win. <laughs> let's start with the gorilla. It's an absolute monster. These guys could get over 400 pounds apiece. And according to some researchers, they could lift 10 times their body weight. That's 4,000 pounds. That's like lifting your car with you in it. There's also articles that suggest that they could lift 2,000 pounds and throw it. In other words, they're strong, like really strong. In fact, they could shatter our skull in one punch. They could crush a crocodile skull with their grip strength. <laughs> New fear unlocked? Check. And if that ain't bad enough, you also have to worry about their mouth. They have these monster canine teeth, which are just ridiculous. And those teeth are partnered with a 1,300 pound bite force. That is a stronger bite force than a lion, a tiger, a polar bear. That's strong enough to break just about any bone in your body. Oh, and I almost forgot. The bone density. A gorilla's bones all through their body are far more dense than a human's bones. Which means it's gonna take a lot more force to break them. And by a lot more force, I mean two to three times the force it would take on a human bone. That gorilla is gonna be a problem. However, gorillas also get taken out by leopards. Not tigers, not lions, leopards. At the same time, one man, a 73 year old man, was able to take out a leopard with his bare hands. He just jumped on top of it and ripped its tongue out of its mouth. <laughs> Humans are crazy. And another guy was able to take out a mountain lion with his bare hands. He choked it until it saw the light. See, we know what the gorilla is capable of, but I think the world has collectively forgotten what we're capable of. And we're not talking about just one human. We're talking about a hundred humans. If each one of them weighed only a hundred pounds, that's 10,000 pounds of highly intelligent human. Not to mention when it comes to life or death, humans don't fight fair. We're gonna be biting, we're gonna be gouging the eyes. I mean, I'm gonna Superman kick it straight in the family jewels. And the biggest argument against us is how do we finish the gorilla? Exhaustion. Now I'm not saying it's gonna be a flawless victory. Like, we're not coming back with 100 people. There is 100% guaranteed going to be people reaching their expiration date on that battlefield. But 100 people jumping on the gorilla all at the same time, throwing knees, throwing elbows, biting fingers, kicking in the groin, poking the eyes out, it's going to take too much damage. People forget that us naturally, with no weapons, are still an apex predator. And again, gorillas get taken out by leopards. A hundred humans could do more damage than a leopard. And here's another article where 17 chimpanzees took out five gorillas. Now don't get me wrong, gorillas are absolute freaks of nature. But it's not King Kong. I don't think there's any world or any scenario where the gorilla wins that match. Realistically, I think 20 humans could take a silverback gorilla. I think 10 humans could take a silverback gorilla if you get the right humans. I'll even take it a step further. I don't think there's a land animal on earth that could take 100 humans. An African bush elephant would be the hardest match. But if we knock it down, it's over. You gotta remember who you are. A human. Top of the food chain. So just to say it one more time, the 100 humans beat the one silverback gorilla every time. If anybody else tells you different, send them this video. I want to know your takes. Who do you think wins the fight? With that being said, I love you guys. And as always, subscribe for more facts.